we taught in our culture to not hurt other people's feelings. So, for example, she gives you her number on, on the streets. It doesn't necessarily mean that she likes you. Now look at number two, eye contact. Eye contact generally, you know, demonstrate attention and engagement. You know, the way she looks at you, if she relaxes, if she's smiling, if she's comfortable. So look at this pictures now. The number one, you know, you have a couple sitting in a restaurant and she looks at him, she looks at her, she's smiling. Everything is going great, so that's a good sign. If you have a date like this, that's a great sign. Next one. Well, this one is a little bit more difficult, you know, guy, he tries to be closer to his lady, you know, he, he's looking at her, but she's looking down. Whether she looks sad, she looks bored, or just not interested, you know. So if your date goes like this, you know, do something, change something, you know, because that's not a good sign. Next one. Wow, this is a great couple, you know, the, the, the guy looks interested in her lady, he's looking at her, they having a drink, and she's got this beautiful, genuine smile, you know, and her eyes smiling. This is a perfect, you know, like example of eye contact, and they look into each other. Next one. Uh, I, th I, I like this picture, you know, it's very romantic, you know, it seems like they don't know each other that well, you know, but they... They, they just, it's like first or second date and they're trying to find out information about each other. They look at, the, stare at each other's eyes, they have white wine, they, you know, the, the, the whole shadow and all. I like this picture, yeah. Next one. Right. This is a good example of a good eye contact, you know. Um, they, they, you know, they say, they, they say if you don't know someone that well, if you're trying to be too close to them, it's not good. If you're trying to sit opposite, it's also like distance, you know, not good. So it's the best thing is if you go on a date, sit on the edge. And this is the perfect example of this. They sit on the edge of the table. They're not too close. They're not too, 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 too far from each other. You know, they're staring at each other's eyes and, you know, they're talking something. So yeah, it's great romantic atmosphere. Number three is smile. Smile and laughter are natural indicators of interest and approval. And we all know how genuine smile looks like. So it's pretty much self-explanatory and I don't have a lot of pictures to demonstrate, but I have two, so we, we discussed two of them. Let's look into two that I have. Well, we have a perfect, you know, smiley, happy couple. You know, they on date, they're looking at each other, they're having a great time, having wine and smiling with their eyes as well. Next one. This one is even better. I feel like the guy, you know, he cracks some joke, he says something funny and he's looking, you know, down and smiling to himself and girls look at him, you know, looks at him and she's admiring him, you know, and she's laughing. So that's, that's a great picture of happiness, you know, and genuine laughter. Okay, the number four is personal clues. And you're gonna pay attention to your ladies, you know, what she's gonna be like. The personal, the personal clues that she's gonna give you, you know. And this can be different, you know. She might touch her hair, she might pull her hair back, she might play with her jewelry, you know, the, 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 you know trying to play with her necklace or ring. She might try to touch her erogenous zone, you know, the collarbone, the neck, you know, her thighs or her wrist maybe. So pay attention to this. Okay, let's look at our pictures. Here you have the perfect example, you know, the date, couple on date, and she's trying to be playful, she's trying to be flirty, she's trying to expose her neck, you know, what probably a lot of people don't know, you know, we do it, it can be consciously or unconsciously. You know, when you, when you, when we raise our arms, you know, our sweat glands, they, they produce hormones, you know, to attract the opposite sex, so we do it you know, unconsciously, and this is what we see in the picture, you know, the girl, she's trying to pull her hair, you know, like to, to, to play with her hair, you know, raising her arms, and smiling, you know, it seems like she's, you know, genuine and having a great time. Next one, the um, Meghan Markle, you know, the future wife of Prince Harry. She always playful, you know, she's, I like this girl, she's always smiling, she's always positive and feels like genuine, you know, and she's playing with her hair, you know, so when your girl is pulling her hair back, trying to be play, flirty and playful, you know, around you, that's a good sign, she likes you, you know. Next one. Here's the Angelina, you know, she's trying to touch her neck and this is very sexy as well, you know, so if your lady's on your date, trying, like I said, her, trying to touch her erogenous down, that's a great sign for you, that's a green light. 
The body language sign number five is excitement. And excitement demonstrates happiness and even arousal. How do you know the girl is excited, right? She listens to you with attention. She's passionate about what she's talking about. She uses her hand gestures, you know, and she's look excited. So we all know how excitement look like. And I don't have a lot of pictures to demonstrate, but we're gonna look at only two that I have. Okay, on this picture, I'd like you to pay attention. You know, they, they, they're looking at each other, the girl, even tilted her head, you know, and you're looking at her man, her arm is towards her man, and they look very happy, right? They look like having a very intimate, romantic date. Next one. This one is even, you know, this couple looks even happier, you know, they're eating some dessert, you know, they're having love, you know, the girl, they, they, they're very close to each other, you know, when they do it, the hands are tilted towards each other. So yeah, it seems like they're excited to be with each other. Next one. This girl looks very happy with her date, you know, she, she faces towards her man, she's fully smiling, you know, her arm is up, you know, and they're having a great time. This is the one, guys, you were waiting for. The body language sign number six is touch. You know, study shows that touch establishes trust, affection, and attraction. We all know, you know, when you, when you like someone, you want to touch them. You want to you, you wanna be closer to them. So you want to touch them. You, you allow people to come into your personal space and they do the same. So let's look at our pictures now. The first one we see the couple sitting in a cafe, their, their legs crossed, they're totally into each other's personal space, everything is going great, this is a great demonstration. If someone likes you, they will allow you to be close to them. The next one is Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes, you know, she's got her arm around her man, she even put her other hand on his tummy, you know, demonstrating the world, this is my man, right? And she tries to be close to him, her whole body is turned towards him. This is a great sign, you know, if your ladies hugging you like this, this is a great sign, you know. And remember, the touch is, is one of the five love languages, you know. So, But if your lady doesn't touch you, it doesn't mean that she's not attracted to you. It might be that it's not her love language, so pay attention to that. So next picture is Prince William and Duchess of Cambridge. You know, she leans towards her man, she looks at him, she smiles and she touches, you know, her hand is on his thigh. This is a great demonstration of touch, the one, you know, that she loves her man. Next one. Next one is the couple having fun, you know, she's casually leaning on his shoulder, he's laughing, you know, they're having a great time, you know, she's whispering something in his ears and the date's going great, yeah. Next one. John Legend and Chrissy. Now this is a funny couple, you know, she laughs out loud, she touches her man, you know, they're having fun and he looks at her like, oh woman, what are you doing? You know? The seventh and final major body language sign is mirroring. We all tend to mimic the actions of people we are attracted to, consciously or subconsciously, you know, but however, the, the, the lack of mirroring doesn't necessarily mean the lack of attraction. It's also a very famous sales technique, you know, in order for us to sell people, we should make them trust us. So we try to, to, to copy their body positions and moves, you know, for, in order for them to trust us. So let's look at our pictures. The first one is couple in a pub, you know, they're having a drink, they're facing towards each other, their arms exactly the same and they're holding the drink even with the same arms, you know. Perfect mirroring. Next one. The second one, we have a couple sitting in a coffee shop enjoying their drinks. You know, they face each other, their elbows resting on a table, identically the same, and the other hand is on a coffee. So they're pretty much mirroring, probably without even realizing it. So there you go, you know, the, the, the explanation of mirroring for you. And to wrap up, guys, let me give you the last tip of advice. As a Ukrainian woman talking to Western man with some experience living abroad for 12 years, so I know your ladies and I know mine even better. You gotta be more intuitive, you know, you gotta pay attention to her facial expressions, to her body language and the whole thing in general. You see, we're taught in our culture to not hurt other people's feelings, so... For example, she gives you her number on, on the streets. It doesn't necessarily mean that she likes you. I know in the West, if lady gives you her number, you know, you got her, right? Okay, she likes you. But in here, it's not always the case. You know, sometimes they just give you because they don't mind to have another foreign friend. Sometimes, you know, they just bored it. Sometimes, you know, they, they give it and they would never respond to you 
to your calls or even your messages on Viber, you know. So do not chase her, do not pursue her. She simply doesn't like her, you know, do not bug people. So you gotta learn from Ukrainian man, you know, you gotta be cool, you know, you don't pursue a woman, you know, you don't bug her. If she doesn't like you, she doesn't like you. Sometimes it could be that she would say, okay, I can't give you my number, but you can give me yours. And this is a great, you know, classic case that she's not gonna call you back you know i had it as well you know and not to not to say okay i don't like you say okay i don't i'm not sure about my number you know but you can give me my you, you can give me yours so i call you back and you know tomorrow never comes so if if she asks you for her number you know forget about it so this is my little advice for you guys just be intuitive you know stay smart and you know pay attention to to what's going on around you so thanks for watching guys i hope you find it useful and i'm gonna give you a little teaser the next video that I'm gonna do is gonna be about how to spot if she's lying to you because we know that women they lie different to men you know so we're gonna do the video on that thanks for watching stay tuned bye